Hi, this is the Details Flowers software, and today this video is going to go over the section titled Worksheet. On our Worksheet section, the left-hand side has what we call our design board. This is where you will upload any inspiration pictures that either you have or your client sent to you. It's also where you'll collect all the items that you're going to use for this event from our resource section at the top titled Item Gallery. On our design board, we have a menu giving you the option to edit your worksheet. Now you have a list of all the worksheet sections that you can easily drag and drop over to the right hand side. For example, I may need to add a discount for this customer. From here, I can add a new row and name the discount accordingly. If I prefer, I can remove this section and reorganize it accordingly by clicking the trash can in the top right hand corner. Those remove sections will be found on the left hand side by clicking the down tab and finding the section titled removed. From here, I can reorganize by dragging and dropping them back over. Coming back to our menu, we have our last option, which is items used. This will give you a list of all the items you're using in your recipes on your right hand side. It will be colored to indicate how close you are to using full bunches. For example, red alerts you that your stem count is over 20% away from using a full bunch. Gray will alert you that you are within 20% of using the full bunch. And green alerts you that your stem count is meeting a full bunch count. If you click on the arrow next to the item, you will see the recipe sections that you are using this item in. Clicking the magnifying glass, it will bring that recipe to the top of the page. Opening the recipe allows you to adjust these ingredients accordingly to move it from red to gray and gray to green. Coming back to our design board brings us to our next feature, which will be favoriting recipes. If you had loaded in a template from your top right hand corner under Options and Load Template, you might not have all those recipes starred to your board on the left. To easily do that, you open the recipe, go into your arrow up and down recipe options, and select Favorite Recipe. You'll notice this has paired that image over to the board on the left. This is beneficial in cases where you may be reusing this recipe and making slight changes. For example, I can pull this over to my Toss Bouquet section and customize any ingredients. Maybe we're doing less stems or even removing out a whole bloom. From here, I can recall to put in the quantity that I'm providing and lock in the price that I want to charge. If the customer was not sure they wanted to add a toss bouquet, I could choose my P proposal suggestion to show that this item is not included on their subtotal. If they do add it, it's as simple as clicking the proposal suggestion again to add it back in. Now, we have a lot of ingredients within this recipe that are not starred over to the design board. To star those items, I could go to my options found in the top right hand corner and choose to favorite all items. You'll notice my left hand side automatically populated with those items, including any of the things that I was using. Now, as you created your event, you will need to save. We have two saving options. The first is found in the top right hand corner under My Account, and that will be the Auto Save feature. That saves your worksheet every 15 seconds. If you would also like to date and timestamp your versions, you can choose to save at the bottom and describe what type of version this may be. I do things like remove ceremony structure or added ceremony back in. Those versions can be found in the top right hand corner under options and load version. 
From here, you can see who last worked on it, what date, and a brief description of what they were working on, allowing you to go back to those old versions. Next, in our top right-hand corner under Options, we have our worksheet settings. This allows you to set things on your worksheet as a whole. For example, changing the markup per line item, adding any admin fees, or choosing whether you want your ingredients to show those prices or not. Keep in mind that we do provide additional tutorial videos found in the top left hand corner underneath support. Thanks so much and I hope this video has helped.